Bridget Bardot, a beacon of beauty and talent, illuminated the global stage. Yet beneath the luminous glow of stardom lingered shadows cast by the secrets and struggles that shaped her. Join Facts First as we present Uncovering the Secrets of Bridget Bardot in her rare photos. Early Life and Tormenting Parents Bridget Bardot, born September 28, 1934, in Paris, France, embarked on a journey from an early age that eventually established her as one of the most iconic figures in film and popular culture. Raised in a conservative, middle-class family, her father, Louis Bardot, was an industrialist and her mother, Anne-Marie Moussel, was socially ambitious for her family. Bridget's early life was marked by a strict upbringing, and her parents maintained high expectations regarding her behavior and future. Bardot was introduced to dance at a young age, and her talent was evident. Her parents supported her ballet training, and she was enrolled at the Conservatoire de Paris. Bardot's ballet training was not merely a childhood endeavor, but a foundational aspect of her artistic expression, providing her with a physical eloquence that later permeated her performances on screen. Her grace, poise, and physicality, which became hallmarks of her film persona, were undoubtedly influenced by her early years of meticulous ballet training. However, her transition from ballet to acting was not entirely smooth or well-received by her family. A story often told about Bardot's early life, though it's worth noting it might be apocryphal or exaggerated, involves a pivotal moment that supposedly occurred in her teens. Allegedly, after accidentally breaking a lamp during an argument or a careless moment, her parents, particularly her strict father, were said to have disowned her, symbolically suggesting she was dead to them by placing an obituary for her in the newspaper. This drastic reaction was supposedly linked to their disapproval of her burgeoning acting career and departure from the more respectable path of classical ballet. Controversial Relationship with Roger Vadim Bridget Bardot's relationship with Roger Vadim, a French filmmaker, was one of the most talked about and controversial relationships of its time, largely due to the age difference and societal norms of the era. Bardot met Vadim when she was just 15 and he was 22. Vadim, who was an assistant director at the time, was immediately captivated by Bardot's beauty and charisma. Their relationship blossomed rapidly and it was with Vadim that Bardot, still a teenager, experienced her sexual awakening. The age at which she lost her virginity to him, given the era and her youth, sparked controversy and was a source of tension between Bardot's family and Vadim. Bardot's parents, particularly her father, were vehemently opposed to her relationship with Vadim, perceiving it as a threat to her future and reputation. When Vadim proposed to Bardot, her father was alleged to have threatened him with a gun, a dramatic gesture that underscored the intense familiar opposition to their union. Despite vehement family objections, Bardot and Vadim's relationship persisted. They married in 1952 when Bardot was 18, navigating both their personal relationship and collaborative professional endeavors in the film industry. Vadim played a pivotal role in shaping her career, directing her in And God Created Woman in 1956, a film that catapulted her to international stardom and solidified her status as a sex symbol. Their relationship, both personal and professional, was characterized by its intensity and the ways in which it pushed against the societal norms of the time. However, the marriage was short-lived ending in divorce in 1957, but their professional collaboration and its impact on global cinema endured. Drugged by her director Bridget Bardot's experience during the filming of La Verité in 1960 is a dark chapter in her illustrious career. Directed by Henri-Georges Clouseau, La Verité was a film that demanded a lot from Bardot, emotionally and physically. The role was intense, and Bardot was deeply committed to delivering a powerful performance. However, the filming process was fraught with tension. Clouseau, known for his demanding and sometimes harsh directorial style, pushed Bardot to her limits. One of the most disturbing incidents that came to light was when Clouseau allegedly drugged Bardot to elicit a genuine performance from her for a particularly emotional scene. According to accounts, Bardot was given a substance without her knowledge that caused her to feel disoriented and out of control, intensifying her emotional reactions on camera. The incident and the overall pressure of the role took a significant toll on Bardot's mental health. She was deeply affected by the experience and it's said the emotional strain from the film contributed to her attempting suicide during this period. Animal Rights Activism 
In the subsequent chapters of her life, following a successful yet tumultuous film career, Bardot emerged as a fervent and dedicated animal rights activist. Her passion for animal welfare led to the establishment of the Bridget Bardot Foundation in 1986, an organization committed to animal protection and advocacy. Bardot's activism was not confined to advocacy, though. She utilized her celebrity, resources, and time to engage in various initiatives, campaigns, and even legal battles to safeguard animals from cruelty and exploitation. Her transition from a film icon to an activist revealed a depth and sincerity often obscured by her public image, showcasing a commitment to utilizing her platform for causes she held dear. Singing Career Bardo's artistic endeavors were not confined to visual mediums. She ventured into the world of music, crafting a singing career that, while perhaps less celebrated internationally, was significant in its own right. Her vocal journey included collaborations with notable French musicians and songwriters such as Serge Gainsbourg, and her songs, often imbued with playful and sensual qualities, became emblematic of her public persona. Bardot's musical career, perhaps overshadowed by her cinematic achievements, added another layer to her artistic legacy. Early Retirement at the pinnacle of her career, when she was arguably one of the most recognized faces globally, Bardot chose to step away from the cinematic world at age 39. Her early retirement in 1973 was a decision that diverged from the typical trajectory of stars of her magnitude. Bardot, having spent nearly two decades under the intense scrutiny of the public eye, opted for a life away from the silver screen redirecting her energies towards personal pursuits and later activism. Her departure was not a fading away, but a conscious stepping back, allowing her to navigate the subsequent decades on her own terms. Fashion Icon Bardo's style, characterized by its effortless elegance, playful femininity, and a dash of rebellion, became emblematic of a generation. The Bardot neckline, which showcased the shoulders and her trademark beehive hairstyle, became fashion staples of the era. Moreover, her choice of a pink gingham dress for her wedding to Jacques Charrier in 1959 sparked a trend in bridal fashion, illustrating her impact on popular styles of the time. Political Controversy in the latter part of her life, Bardot has become somewhat of a polarizing figure in the realm of French and international public discourse due to her outspoken and controversial political and social views. Her statements, particularly regarding immigration and Islam in France, have sparked controversy and led to several legal issues relating to inciting racial and ethnic hatred. Bardot's political stances and statements, often delivered with a candidness that disregards diplomatic norms, have complicated her public image, positioning her as a figure who elicits both admiration and criticism within contemporary discussions on nationalism, multiculturalism, and free speech. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Bridget Bardot? Let us know in the comments section below.